Okay, so in the last video, we set up our camera pawn and we set up functionality for edge scrolling. And now in this video, I'm going to set up uh, some basic functionality for units. Um, so I'm going to just start out by making a parent class. And uh, if you're implementing this into a game that you've already got, you might already have a class uh, existing. And you would just add some of this stuff that I'm doing to your existing class. Uh, I'm going to make a new one, uh, character, call it parent. Uh, unit uh, class and I'll open that up and I'll make a couple changes right off the bat. Uh, I'm going to use fairly small units. We've got a full size character capsule here. I'm just going to change that uh, radius here to 10 and the half height here to 30. Uh, okay, and I'm going to add also at this stage a decal and call this the selection decal. Every unit will have a selection decal. Uh, and what I need to do here is rotate this on the Y by 90 degrees, and I'm gonna make the size quite a bit smaller. I'm gonna uh, go to decal size here and set these values to 20 and 20. Uh, well, okay, I guess that's uh, locked in here for automatic scaling. Um, okay, and I'm going to lower this down towards the feet of the unit. And uh, we want that to project onto the ground uh, around the unit. Uh, we don't want it to project onto the unit. So I'm going to grab the mesh here, find uh, receives, uh, receives decals, and set that to false. All right, so I'll compile, save. I'm going to close that for now. And I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, right click and make a child class and I'll call this uh, unit uh, underscore style one. We'll open this one up here and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, select the mesh here and I'm just going to uh, set the mesh to be the uh, mannequin, the UE mannequin. Um, but I don't want it to be that big. I'm going to change the scale here to 0.3 on all the axes. Uh, and then I've got to just drop this down a little bit into the capsule. Uh, e to rotate. We'll turn it 90 degrees here so it's facing the uh, forward arrow here. Uh, all right, and what I'll do is set the material here maybe to something uh, more interesting. So instead of male body, maybe I'll use uh, material sphere. Um, all right, so that looks okay. We've got yellow pants guy here. And I'll close that up. And I'm just going to, while I have this uh, unit selected, I'm going to press Control D. Oh, make sure I have it highlighted here. Control D, and uh, now I've got unit style too. I'll open that up. Uh, full blueprint editor. Oops, that's weird. Okay, uh, and for this one, I'll just grab the mesh here and change the skeletal mesh to uh, let's go with the female mannequin and the material I'll pick something different here uh, maybe we'll go with uh, how about uh, hex tile here uh, the pulsing hex tile all right uh, so I'll compile save and close that and I'm just going to drag some of these units uh, onto the map here. Uh, so I'll just grab the unit style one here and uh, unit style two. And I'll just hold alt and uh, click there, hold alt and make another one. Uh, same thing here. I'll select this, hold alt and drag over. Okay. Uh, so I've made a handful of units here and we can see this uh, decal that we have is uh, just showing this square on the ground because we haven't actually created a decal material for that selection decal. Uh, so I'm going to do that next. Uh, right click, make a new material. We'll call this uh, selected underscore decal MAT. And all right. Uh, for this one here, we're going to start off by setting the material domain to deferred decal and blend mode should be translucent. And uh, I'm going to hold three on my keyboard, click here, plug this to emissive color, and I'm going to set this to 
a, a green color, a bright green here. All right, and uh, what I'm going to do here actually is I'm going to pull this out and uh, what we'll do is apply this, drag a bit of this, uh, drag this decal onto uh, the ground here. And I'm just going to scale it uh, quite a bit smaller. All right. Uh, and then now we can see this as we're working with it in the other window. Uh, so I can show you step by step sort of how I'm building this uh, decal material. All right. Um, so right away we can see we have the entire square here is covered with our green color. And I don't want to do that. I want to have a, a circle. I want to make sort of a ring here. And so I'm going to use a radial gradient exponential. And what I'll do is first I'll just take uh, this input here and instead I'm going to multiply it. We'll put the result to the emissive color and multiply it by the radial gradient. And uh, I'll just show you that result right away. I'll apply that. So now we have a circle. And so that's a start. Um, what we want to do is actually take, I, I don't want a solid circle, I want a ring. So I want to take away a circle from inside this circle. And I can do just that by saying uh, subtract here. I'll take that pin away and we'll say uh, subtract node. And I'll duplicate this, make another radial gradient exponential uh, and subtract one from the other. But what I'm going to do is subtract a bit less radius than the first one. Uh, so if I hover here, I can see the default value for radius is 0 0.5. So I'm going to hold one on my keyboard, make a parameter, uh, and I'm going to plug that into radius here. And I'll set this to, let's say, 0.4. And so uh, let's try that. I'm going to subtract a 0.4 circle from a 0.5 circle. Okay, and we're, we've got a, a ring going on here, but it's really fuzzy. And that's because I haven't uh, fed anything into the density pins here. Um, so for example, let's see, I could make uh, a fixed amount of density here, let's say you know 25 or something like that. Uh, if I plug that into both density nodes and apply, now we've got a solid ring. Uh, but I'm going to do something extra here and just uh, go one step further and make a, an interesting effect using the density. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is get first a linear sine node. And this is going to return a value between 0 and 1 uh, uh, and then back to 0 and back to 1 over and over again. And I'm going to do that by plugging the time into value. And uh, I'll make a scalar parameter here and plug this into period. And this will be the amount of time I want to pass between the 0 and 1 interval. Uh, so I'll put this to something like 3 seconds. And now I'm going to plug in my uh, linear sine output into my densities. But I don't want to go, I don't just want a density of between 0 and 1. I want to multiply this so it gets to a larger value. Uh, so we'll multiply that and I'll just put in, let's say, 25. And let's plug that into the densities. And uh, right away in the preview here, we can see we have an interesting effect going on. And I'll apply this. And now we can see it here live in the, uh, the decal I've pulled out into the world. All right, that's pretty much the effect I was going for for this decal. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to get rid of this decal here by just uh, deleting it and go ahead and change the material in my parent unit class for the selection decal. And I'll grab that selection selected decal material. All right, so I'll compile that and we'll take a look here. And now our units uh, have the selection decal, and that's great. 
Uh, but we don't want this to be uh, just permanently on. In fact, uh, this is for when the unit is selected. So by default, this should be not visible. And we'll just set that here in the parent class. Visible, uncheck it, and compile. Uh, okay, and one more thing here as well. Uh, I'm just going to plug in the animation blueprints for these. I can see they're just sitting here in the A poses. So uh, I'm just going to open up uh, the uh, unit style one to start with here. And I'll select uh, the mesh and I'll go to anim class here and grab third person anim BP, uh, compile and close. And then I'm going to grab uh, unit style two and same thing. Just go to mesh here, anim class, third person, anim BP, and uh, close that one. Okay, and now they're looking normal there. And uh, let's see if we press play here. Uh, okay, we've got our units there. And uh, of course, uh, we've built in the selection decal, but we don't have any way to uh, select them yet. And in the next video, we're gonna build a marquee selection so we can uh, draw a rectangle by clicking with our mouse and uh, select which units we want. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.